Hi everyone, thanks for watching tonight. It has been a month of unrest for the Grand Rapids community as burglaries have swept the area and hit small businesses hard. All this on the heels of a bout of counterfeit money being produced and trickling into the area. As our Mary Keeler tells us, the community is reeling and the police department needs help from the public to stop these crimes. I came in and uh, noticed that the register was just totally yeah. torn apart. There was no money. The checks were thrown aside. It's happening anywhere from small art galleries. We thought we only had to worry about books missing on occasion. People who come in bookstores are pretty honest and wanting to um, just find a good book. To hometown bookstores, single shop businesses in Grand Rapids are feeling the sting of recent burglaries. They're going in for cash uh, and targeting stores with uh, you know, little to no surveillance. And the Grand Rapids area is dealing with a bout of counterfeit bills going around too. An easy way for people and business owners to see if the bills they're getting are fake, is if the center is off on the print, and also if the eagle that is in the left-hand part of the bill is faded or non-existent. We uh, are continuing to collect uh, evidence with the counterfeit money, trying to link the serial numbers uh, to other areas of uh, greater Minnesota. Investigators have been working with the affected businesses, but say if you can't get better security, at least take this precaution. Getting all the cash out of out of the business at night, um, putting it in, in a hidden spot. It can happen to you, so take any precaution that you can. But it comes down to reporting things as they happen. We need the public's help, that's for sure. And uh, crimes will get solved even with the smallest tip. The investigation into these burglaries will continue as those who have been blindsided continue to recover. In Grand Rapids, Mary Keeler, Lakeland News. The Grand Rapids Police Department says anywhere from a couple hundred dollars to over a thousand dollars is stolen each time a burglary happens. If you've enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland Public Television.